Doing a moon bath ritual can be a particularly centering and effective way to be energetic during full moon night. The very process of our birth is connected to these cycles. You know that clearly the feminine cycles and our birth is very directly connected. Apart from that, this twelve and a quarter, somewhere between eleven and three-fourths to twelve and a quarter is one solar cycle, it varies a little bit. If you complete seven cycles of the solar system, if you complete seven solar cycles, you will complete one thousand and eight lunar cycles. That is, if you live for eighty-four years and three months, you would have completed seven solar cycles and one thousand and eight lunar cycles. If you just manage to live that long, if you just manage to live to complete seven solar cycles and one thousand and eight lunar cycles, then you can break a certain bond with the earth. Your bond with the planet is broken largely. and very easily, with very little assistance, even if you know nothing about anything, with very little assistance, you can go beyond the cycles of birth and death. Because your bond with the planet and the material of the planet, the memory of which you carry within you and the memory of you, the material also carries. You will break that bond. Once this bond is broken, then the work that needs to be done is very simple. When people say the salt of the earth, it has more meaning than most people understand. You are the salt of the earth. This whole body, it's just a small blob which has just popped out of this planet. What you call as myself right now is just a little blob of earth which just splashes out and falls back. And this keeps happening because there is a bond between the planet and you. The energy that you refer to as myself, and the material which has become the manifestation of yourself, these two things have gotten linked, it's a very deep, it's a very profound relationship. But if you complete seven cycles of the sun and... not and, along with that you complete one thousand and eight lunar cycles, then your bond with the planet is largely broken. From there on, it becomes very simple. With a very small push, it could be done. So if you've not done anything right, all you have to do is torment the world with eighty-four years of you. The September full moon is also referred to as the harvest moon. It will be full of abundance. As summer begins to wane and the days gradually shorten, the harvest moon graces the night sky, offering farmers and communities a time to reap the rewards of their labor and celebrate the fruits of the earth. That's why it is popularly known as Harvest Full Moon. The moon is at the nearest point in its orbit of earth during the full moon. It will also be the year's fourth and final supermoon. The previous three full moons happened, one in July and two in August. The harvest moon is the full moon that goes closest to the terminal equinox, typically in September for the northern hemisphere. The super moon can appear up to fourteen percent larger and thirty percent brighter than other times. Here's what not to do on a super full moon or harvest moon. 
try to avoid alcohol or drugs during full moon phases. Doing a moon bath ritual can be a particularly centering and effective way to be energetic during full moon night. You're basically taking the energetics of the moon that are infused in that water and you're using that to continue this ritual connection with the moon with yourself to truly identify what would serve you best to release. To make moon water, fill a bowl or the vessel with water and set it out for several hours in the moonlight.